Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all the help and support that I can get right now. Um, so I hope you're enjoying the videos um, and welcome back to episode three. Um, sorry, excuse the light as well. Uh, it's quite cold in here and there's a big heater, so uh, my face is just not orange for the sake of it. Um, so today we're going to be discussing um, through super yachting terminology, but particularly focusing on the exterior. Um, and then in episode four, we'll discuss through the interior terminology. Um, for me, terminology, I can imagine, is quite a big thing in the industry. Because you want to know what you're talking about. You don't want to sound stupid. And there's quite a lot of it. Um, for me, I want to start gaining confidence in being able to talk through and discuss about yachts in great detail. Um, and I guess that's a big part in the role that I would like to eventually end up in, whether that be charter broker or sales broker so it's good that i'm starting to learn now um and sort of pick it up as quickly as i can so let's get started um so the front of the yacht is called the bow and the back of the boat is called the stern um the middle of the middle of the yacht is called the midship the left side of the boat is called the port and the right side is called starboard. So, first things first, you've got the boat, boat sorted out. You've got your left, middle, and, and uh, right, and you've got the back and the front. So that's quite basic, right? That's what you should be learning um, first. But then we go into the body of the boat, which is the hull. Um, the boarding walkway, which is where you're walking along in your evening strolls down by the port, and it's the board walkway, which is called the passerelle, is actually the bridge that basically gets you from uh, the shore onto the yacht. Quite like the name, Passerelle. Um, you've got the swim platform. So this is kind of where if you're going over the Passerelle, you've got the swim platform underneath you, um, which is actually called the transom. Um, so obviously a transom, when you're out to sea, they have all the water toys on. You may have some sunbeds. Um, might be a good place for the tent to pull up and, and uh, load and offload guests or food on drink. Um, the back of the boat is called the aft deck. Um, the material that you would genuinely get on the floor um, that would uh, be on super yachts is usually teak or non-skid um, flooring. Um, when you moor, you call it lines and cleats. Uh, I presume this is because obviously when you are coming into mooring, you are throwing your lines and your tying up and keeping the boat safe on um, on 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 to a shore. Um, the first floor is called the upper deck. Um, the lower ground floor is called the lower deck. Um, always the top level of the boat is called the flybridge. Um, so in the flybridge you mostly get the captain's um, uh, headquarters and most likely bedroom. Um, obviously the rubber rubber bumpers that sort of keep you safe from other boats um, and when coming to land um, are called the fenders. So you throw the fender over the side of the boat and this gives you the protection that you need um, between the yacht and whatever there may be beside you. Um, and the interior storage is usually called the bilge, um, which is quite fascinating. So. That's just a quick run through of everything I've sort of learnt, um, let's say, over the last few weeks in more detail. Known for a while, but focusing now on trying to really get that into my vocabulary. Um, so, yeah, I hope that was of somewhat use to you. If you are on the same stage as me and you are an aspiring charter broker, sales broker, or just want to try and get your foot through the door in the industry, um, stay tuned to this YouTube channel because I'm going to try and... Um, well, first of all, help myself in a selfish point of view, but to help you guys as well as what you may need to know and what you may need to learn um, in order to get this opportunity. Um, and hopefully together we will. So anyway, stay tuned for episode four. Um, I'll have some interior um, terminology for you. Um, and I'm sure that will be with you very soon. But anyway, thank you very much for listening. Um, please like and subscribe.